All right, welcome back. Well, I'm back in my terminal, and now that we have explored how to get help with Git, and that we've done the bare minimum configuration settings with Git, we can finally start working with the Git source control with a project. Starting out, there's a couple of approaches we can take. We can either initialize an existing project with Git, or we can start from scratch. So the first way I'm going to show you is just simply starting from scratch. So I'm going to use my pwd command to kind of show you where I'm at. So I'm in my home directory, and I have a projects folder that I like to keep all my different work in. So I'm going to change directory, that's what cd means, into projects. So if I do a pwd, I'm in the projects folder under my user account. So this is the location that I want to create my projects. And to do so with git, I'm going to use the git's init command. So I'm going to type git init, and then the name of the project that I want to create. So I'm going to say git-demo. So what git has done is it's created a subfolder named after the project that I just gave it. So if I just do an ls, which is the same as dir under Windows, you can see that I have a git-demo directory. Now I'm going to change directory into that, git-demo, and now I'm in a working folder of my git repository. If I do a ls, you can see there's no files here because we just initialized it. This is a fresh project. However, it's not truly empty. If I do an ls-a, it will show me that I have a .git directory within this folder. The .git directory is actually where git manages all the different files relevant to the git source control. Without that .git folder, you don't have a git repository. However, most of the time, the dot files or the dot folders are hidden from our normal view, although we can always use the dash a command to see them when we need to. 